too many things to fit in a short video, but... Um... <laughs> Try to do a semitone below the note that you aim for, and then go to the note. So if you're in D, so you're trying to go. So D, C sharp D, F sharp F, 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 G sharp, G sharp O. Yeah, those, those basically those. those. Yeah. I'll just stop it just a second. But it's a, it's a, it's a going. <laughs> yeah, it's good practice though, yeah, so you can actually do them as regular notes. Oh, sorry. Using separate fingers? Yes. Do you use the second finger? I, I, I do so just two and a three first. Yeah, that's it. Two, three. Uh, two, two. Oh, so yeah, yeah, you're right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> One, two. Was that three, four? Yeah, two, uh, three. Two, two, three. And then three, four. the space go right down as far as the scale goes so that'll be a second inversion D major arpeggio you do about inversions and stuff yeah <laughs> so inversions yeah I do that with some of the like even when they've got the exams coming I'm like well, do that scale in the first inversion do it in the second inversion like just try to get them thinking about the theory and stuff um, and then it also helps with chords because when they hear things like that it's like that's still a D major chord but it hasn't got a D in it and stuff like that <laughs> Okay, so this is a this is a, a blues in D major. And I'm gonna do some basic just playing the tonic, which um is along with the D's. Down to a G. Change the rhythm a little bit.
Sounds a bit like stormy weather. <laughs> I suppose it is, yeah, it's like the, the French have got, the, it's a lot of food that they think that they've got.